Hello there, this is Ben from GP Adventures and this will probably be my last video about uh, the twin tank card at this point. Um, I realized that um, I didn't make a video about uh, the cellar level, which you're seeing now, and I just wanted to make a tour like I did for the other levels. Uh, and maybe show since uh, I went on and colored all the maps, so this is done and uh, maybe show the, the results as well so this is the entire level as you see it under protective sheet now um, what you can see um, is that um, uh, you can see the quarters of some of the inhabitants of the inn uh, in those rooms here and here with those beds, that, that this is a very large bed, 10 feet, 10 feet uh, wide bed. Um, you can see there are, this, so this is a cellar, huh? there, there are barrels, and there is a wine cellar, lots of supplies, uh, you can see there's a scrying and kind of study room for the, the magic user of the inn, uh, the Del Bay the Elf. Uh, there's a pool here. Um, this is one of the two secret rooms where they stash stuff. This is a sarcophagus in the middle. And there are options presented in the module as to what might be in the sarcophagus. And uh, basically, the idea here is for this to be a, a further either an event to, to trigger uh, sometime in the campaign or the source of an ad adventure but we prefer to to uh, give a few options and leave it to the DM to decide what might be in this algorithm I know what is in this algorithm in my campaign that might be different from yours uh, and these you can see these, these are holes in the wall to, that lead to uh, the room because the dwarf cat fan uh, who is the um, basically the fighter of the, the whole band, the, the group, these, these are the quarters here. Uh, Catfan the Dwarf has a ring of um, um, of gaseous form, which allow, allow him to access this room. So that's how he accesses it. And this is another, another secret room, it doesn't have any doors, as you can see, where uh, interestingly, uh, like uh, this large gong and uh, three huge chests one in silver uh, one in copper and uh, one in gold or, or what looks like gold I should say uh, and these are magic uh, chests uh, and this room is accessible via uh, spells of course all right so um, we've got so the, the quarters huh, the, the stairs going up in the inn here too all right uh, more uh, brew <laughs> sorry and up there what you can see is um, the area under the main room of the twin tank card with a large hole 10 foot wide uh, that goes down to a dungeon of your choice uh, during the very first playtest of the material of the tomb uh, this was uh, this led to the prismatic maze. Uh, now the, prism the prismatic maze in uh, the module uh, can serve as the bottom, the very bottom of the marble tomb itself. You can still use it as the bottom of this area, or you can use your own dungeon as well, right? All right. So this means if I recenter myself a little bit here, sorry about that. This means. Uh, the twin tank card is entirely done. Right? You can see, like, you can see the area where the lead can be lifted from the stage and leading down to that hole here. Right? Alright, so this is the ground level, upper level. Right? We've seen that before, previous videos. This is the attic. Done. And the cellar level. Right? So, 
since my last video, everything has been scanned and colored. So, without further, without further ado, let's have a look at the colored versions. So, this, these are the results. This is the ground level of the Twin Tank car. Lots of work. I had to isolate every wall, every piece of furniture, color them individually, all by hand. No filter, no nothing like that. No, no automatic uh, stuff. It was really all done by hand, upper level. With a, you can see that's a, a kind of um, how should I say a blur effect to indicate height. Hmm? You can see that. With the rooms, the beds, right? Stairs with U, letter U, is up. Stairs with D is down. The rug, piles of hay in the common room to sleep, the towers, or some of the inhabitants of the inn live as well. Up there you have the quarters of the owners of the inn. The super select common room for, ad for adventurers, I guess. This is the treasury. Where are some of the particular items of the inn and, uh, and uh, clients, uh, customers of the inn are kept, right? Has this specific room which can be uh, rented with the old bear pelt on the ground. <laughs> uh, which can be rented so adventurers can sleep directly next to the very secure areas where their gear or loot can be kept, right? So, uh, this is the attic, colored. Right? So, attic, huh? With chests, bags, boxes, tools, you know, various uh, things down as well. You see those uh, little uh, 10 by 10 uh, spaces next to the stairs? No door. These are secret uh, spaces too. Can be accessed with dimension door, teleport, uh, uh, password, those kind of things. More wine. More bottles of wine. Right. Stairs down, boots, right? The towers with those kind of uh, square wooden pegs around, which indicate the towers have a roof. This is uh, sustained by these uh, structures, these wooden structures around the tower. The chimneys, right? The exhausts of the fireplaces of the inn, and those two here also lead uh, and those spaces there by the by the towers just south of the tower uh, these are also leading to chimneys right but uh, we don't see them on this level they are just above right so that's the attic and finally the ground level so I layered the surface just a hint of the, the features of the surface around the cellar so that it would fit with the rest of the set. Right? Rest of the set. And so we got all the wine there. And so, right? All that I described the quarters of the dwarf and the elf. Oh, that's under the well. It's a secret passage. There are, there are ways to escape if the inn is attacked via the well. And you can see there are doors there, which are like more like uh, uh, accesses to uh, uh, either... Uh, this could be traps, this could be uh, uh, doors for extensions for your own dungeons. If you want to create uh, the remnants of the temple, uh, that preceded the inn, 
of which like uh, uh, the, 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 the rules that were used by the Party of Adventure to build him. You could build a, dun a dungeon not only from this hole here, but from there as well. Several levels, right? Uh, always the sort of uh, leaving space for the imagination of the DM and growing the thing, right? And this is the other way to escape. And that leads to, uh, to the latrines. You can escape via the holes of the latrines here. You see? So that's a bit dirty, but uh, that's always a way to escape, right? And yeah. You can see huh? the chests looking like silver, gold, and copper, as I was talking about, right? Sarcophagus, barrels, right? the pool of water, and you can see it colored. So, yeah. And that's it. And basically, with that, we have the twin tank card done. And this is it. And on to uh, last pass of the keys with only more writing. That's more work to do, but uh, this was weeks, weeks of work. And I think I don't know. You can you could tell me in the comments, but I think that worked great. This is. I don't remember ever seeing an, an in like this in a role playing game, completely detailed like this. There must have been predecessors, but. I hope it measures, at least, with its predecessors. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is Ben uh, signing off, and on to uh, more work and uh, further adventures. Bye bye.